in the pit at a music festival there is every single camera you could ever imagine i'm a bare bones type of person i pack light so let me tell you what i used what's in my camera bag for lollapalooza 2023 this right here is the mindshift 30 liter backpack great bag to fit a whole lot of gear and it's awesome to travel with because it fits underneath the seat now let's talk the gear that's inside of it the number one thing in my bag is the canon r5 now i don't have it in hand because it's recording right now this is the camera i use for just about everything sports music whatever you see me shooting is usually on the canon r5 for video i'm shooting 4k 60 in c log most of the time but 4k 120 comes in handy like for these billy eilish shots because whenever you're going to get a half a second of useful content you need to really make the most of it. So 120 frames per second is really nice. For photo, we have 45 megapixels. So I can crop in on a photo like this of Noah Khan from this to this, which is ridiculous. You can shoot up to 20 frames per second. So fast photo, fast video, that's what you need here. Now into the lens compartment of the bag, we got three and it's really the big three. There's two that you really need though. The two lenses I'm carrying on me most of the time are the 24 to 70 and the 70 to 200. Actually throughout this entire weekend, I didn't break out the 16 to 35. First lens I'm carrying is the RF 24 to 70 f 2.8. This lens is on my camera most of the time because it's very versatile. You can get the wide perspective, you can get tighter. It is wide enough to be the wide, like for this T-Mobile shot, we knew we wanted to get some pyro of the stage and get the T-Mobile sign up top. 24 is wide enough for this, but if I had like a 15 to 70 and then the 70 to 200 it'd be butter and then also on the canon r5 you can shoot in the movie cropping mode so you crop in even more and whenever you're filming these festivals you don't want to be swapping lenses all the time one it slows you down you're missing moments and two there's so much dust everywhere it's just getting into your gear and whenever you take your lens off it's gonna get on your sensor. The second lens that I'm bringing is the 70 to 200. This is great, obviously, for whenever you're further away or whenever you wanna get those tight details. When I was filming Billie Eilish, I was on stage, but I wasn't close on stage. So I had the 70 to 200, so I get this unique perspective behind her on the stage and not really be in the way or be on the stage invisible to the crowd because that's a huge no-no. The 70 to 200, a lot of the times, is how I get these detail shots, like here of JID. This detail close up of his eye, 70 to 200. This is the lens that I also use pretty much the entire time for Kendrick photo and video. This allows you to be far away and whenever you're close up, you can get those details on the face. And now lens number three that we're taking is the 16 to 35 f 2.8. I mentioned it's the three lenses that pretty much everybody has. This is the one that I don't know if you really need for filming the concerts. The 24 millimeter ends up being wide enough. You need a wide stage shot. Actually, lens that I've been thinking about getting to replace this is the 11 to 24 waiting for an RF one to come out because those stylistic shots with a super wide lens would be amazing and the last little lens accessory is this right here the adapter to take it from EF to RF I have the one with the control ring the control ring is really nice because I have it set up to change the ISO so I have quick change options for the ISO the shutter speed the aperture and then the autofocus mode is the one that I have for my fourth dial. Now little accessories that I have in my bag that go along with this camera gear. In order to get the most out of my Canon R5, I use a CF Express Type B memory card. This is a super fast memory card so I can film in 8K if I want to, 4K 120, and go really fast with the burst photos without having to wait for them to write on the camera. An easy way to hold the camera back is using SD cards instead of the CF Express. This is the same for a lot of cameras, so get the fastest memory cards you can. Can. On top of that, we have the memory card reader because this is not an SD card. You need a whole different dongle to actually get your stuff off of the memory card. Now, next up is a little bag because that big bag is not going to be on my back really ever during the concerts. I do not want to carry around a 40 pound backpack the entire day whenever I'm taking 20,000 plus steps. So that's where this comes in. This right here is my sling bag. Now, this is not technically a photography sling bag. But it ends up being a great size. 
Only drawback to it is the fact that it doesn't fit a 70 to 200 inside of it, but if I need to fit my 24 to 70 or my 16 to 35, they fit in this big pouch and I like how many different pockets it has. Here's how I use them. I put all of my batteries in this front compartment. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven is in the camera. Out of these, I have one, two, three, four native Canon batteries, and the rest are third-party batteries. The Canon batteries last a whole lot longer. In the front pouch here, I'll put maybe my ID and credit card. So this larger pouch for the most part is being used for maybe camera gear and also chargers. This right here, is my Anchor portable charger. I recently purchased this thing and it's super nice because you can actually plug your laptop into it to charge it. That's huge. I find a lot of the time I get frustrated because I don't have a portable charger for my laptop and if I'm on a plane that doesn't have outlets or I'm at some kind of event where I don't have power, I'm just out of luck. This thing saves me the stress of that and it can also charge my phone I think like seven or eight times. So a phone charger plus the portable charger fits right in here, nice to have on me all the time. Next, we got the two other cameras that I'm carrying around. The first one is this Ricoh GR2. This is my everyday camera. I'll capture some BTS. So right here, Sophie Tucker was backstage, so I was getting portraits of them. The Ricoh GR2 is the camera that I use for this D-Wade shot and the Fred again shot. These are just spur of the moment. The flash is where this comes in handy. My R5 would not do a great job since I don't have a flash. So having this in my pocket ready to go, just shoot some bangers. What's really becoming a favorite camera in my bag is this Canon PowerShot A2200. The Canon PowerShot is really a cool camera. And it was the camera that my girlfriend found in the basement of her parents' house. And it gives you this vintage look. It puts a timestamp on the photos and it actually looks like a VHS camera whenever you film video. So as you see in these Noah Khan shots, I had my Canon R5, which is 4K 60 high quality, and then I have this recording as well. This, I don't even know what the resolution is, but it's terrible. That's everything for the sling. This thing is on me all day, every day. Batteries, I didn't mention memory cards, but maybe a couple extra memory cards. Cameras, portable chargers, credit card, ready to rock. Next thing for a festival that you're gonna need is an ND filter. I use the prism lens effects ND filter. This one is very nice because it's a variable. I like it, it's durable. I can throw it in my sling bag if I need to and don't really have to worry about it. Next up, let's talk audio. For me, I have this Rode shotgun mic. Now, as you can see, this thing has some miles on it. Lots of little pieces to turn it on. So I had to put the audio jack in here to turn it on. A little bit janky, but this thing is really nice for direct audio. The shotgun microphone is a weird one. I don't use it all the time. When I do use it, is when I'm trying to get BTS moments, like here of Noah Khan, whenever you talk to my camera during the meet and greet. It's the most fun signing I've ever done. Don't pay attention to the fact that my signature changes every single time, essentially devaluing the product. I went to Kumon for six years for my handwriting. Stepping out of the camera bag a little bit and over to the stabilizer world, we got the Ronin S. The Ronin is something that I use every single day here. For the brand stuff, it's really essential. You can get the smooth slow-mo and it's a great way to get tracking shots whenever you're in the pit. Now, yes, make fun of me all you want, just like all my friends do. I still have the base Ronin S. It's pretty big. I'm starting to realize how much smaller they're making them and how much stronger they are. I love this thing though. It's so dialed into my needs. I just have the settings perfect for what I want. I'm so used to it. So I ride this thing till the wheels fall off. This is on my camera most of the time. It doesn't have locks, but I kind of like it because whenever I'm filming, I will have it here and I will actually just do this. I'll hang it over my arm so then I don't have to really be carrying it if I'm filming or something. If it had locks on it and all that, I don't know if I could really do this. And it's just so durable. I've had this thing for years and I've never really had a problem with it. I beat the crap out of this thing. Now that's enough on camera gear. We're going down to editing gear now. At music festivals, a lot of the time they want fast turn content. For myself, I wasn't necessarily ripping artist content right away. 
way. I had that night to go and do it. I was filming more for brands. That's what my client hired me to do, but I'm definitely taking a few things in case I need to edit and to dump footage. First off, we have a 14 inch M1 MacBook Pro with 64 gigs of RAM. This is my workhorse. It runs every day for about eight hours a day without fail. Knock on wood, I can't afford to uh, mess that one up. And it's an absolute beast whenever it comes to Photoshop, Lightroom, Premiere, After Effects. And then I bring two different hard drives for whatever content I shoot. First up is my workhorse. This is an SSD from SanDisk, four terabytes, and this is my working hard drive. I'm editing off of it in any active files that I have. I'm going to have them on here because it's much quicker to edit off of and it doesn't slow down your computer at all. In the case that I shoot four terabytes in the weekend, which I would be a little bit upset with myself about, I bring a five terabyte Lacey hard drive. This one is much slower and it's more of a backup type hard drive. You don't wanna work off of these because they are very slow, especially if you're transferring footage onto or off of it and you're also trying to edit. This is just a backup for extra space Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Like this video it means nothing to you. It means a lot to me. If you're going to be at Austin City Limits, I think I'm going to be there as well. And if you are hiring for a music festival, I love filming music. It's really one thing that I really want to do that I haven't done yet is go on tour with an artist. So I don't know, just kind of speaking it into existence right now. And here are some of my favorite photos from the past week. Peace. <laughs>